A school in Gloucestershire which teaches people with disabilities to fly is celebrating its 40th year of training. The charity has helped more than 500 people take to the skies with some former pupils having gone on to qualify as pilots. Will Glennon reports. On her way up, Abby Evans has clocked up plenty of hours in this single-engined plane. She has Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and parts of her body have stopped working. She can't walk anymore and has to feed through a tube. But she applied to be a disabled pilot and was given a scholarship place. Ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to become a pilot and that was kind of put on hold when my diagnosis came about. And then I got to sit in a plane and I didn't feel disabled anymore because I was the same as every other person. After completing all her pre-flight checks, it's off for a few more flying hours. The charity is called Flying Scholarships for Disabled People. Every year, about seven to ten people are given a chance to be trained to fly. John Sawsby is an experienced commercial pilot who volunteers as a trainer. So it's, it's incredibly rewarding. It's just a fabulous medium where you're learning academic stuff on the ground, physical stuff on the air, and, it, and we, we, we tailor the course to people's needs and people's abilities, and, that, and we just always ensure that they come out confident at the other end and take that back into their everyday lives. Abby has finished her scholarship, but now wants to keep training and get her private pilot's licence. It's really freeing and you just feel like you can do anything. You know, you get out the plane and you just feel like, right, I can take on anything that comes my way now. These are my favourite days because when I get to go flying, it doesn't matter whether it's raining, whether it's sunshine, whether I've had a bad morning. It's just, it's what I love doing and I hope I can do it for a long time. For all the pilot scholars like Abby, who's up there right now, it's about the experience of flying, the learning new skills, regaining confidence. It's about their abilities, not their disabilities. This summer, the charity will celebrate 40 years and visit 40 airfields across Britain. And they'll keep on helping more people like Abby find their wings and the freedom they thought they'd lost. Will Glennon, BBC Points West, Gloucester Airport. Ooh, nice